what if the brother speaks about this mazlama, like he says to others, you know, my brother ripped me off, or my employer, or my employee. You know, some people who work in the Gulf, they call the program and say that my caffeine, my sponsor, uh, didn't pay me my uh, salary for months. Is this haram? No, this is not haram. I mean talking about it. To expose this person, to expose the thieves, to expose the criminals, so that everybody knows. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Nisa, لا يحب الله الجهر بالسوء من القول إلا من ظلم We're not supposed to speak about anything that is bad and expose it except if you have been wronged, if you have been oppressed. I cannot get my right from this person. He is too powerful. He has connections. So you speak about people. That is perfectly fine. When the Prophet ﷺ received a complaint from one person that his neighbor is is, is really rude to him. He said, be patient, once, twice, several times. And he said, you know what? Go akhrij mata'ak. Take your furniture out and put it in front of your house. So everybody who's passing by said, oh, so and so, are you leaving? Are you moving? No, I'm not. So why do you take your furniture out? Because my neighbor is giving me hell. He's driving me crazy. He's really rude to me. So the people started cursing the neighbor who's annoying his neighbor. So the neighbor heard that he came running to him and said, I beg you, take your stuff inside and I will stop hurting you anymore. That is the idea of لا يحب الله الجهر بالسوء من القول إلا من ظلم. Look, if you're oppressed, Allah will take your right. But it doesn't mean that you act like a sheep. You act like a goat. Okay, Islam doesn't say that. Islam demands you should be strong, you should be powerful, you should de 